welcome to a new weekly vlog um thank you all for your lovely comments on our first weekly vlog that we just posted um earlier in the week um it's nice to kind of be back although marissa and i are still separate it's nice to kind of like have some sort of thing to do like a purpose throughout the week like vlogging or something um so thank you um it's tuesday today um, just had a really lazy morning so far been doing some emails from from bed um, and just getting on top of content deadlines and approvals and captioning and all that kind of fun stuff um, which i did a lot last night yesterday afternoon as well so a lot of our um, sponsored content is kind of been approved now so when you kind of roll it out over the next week or so which is great um we're very lucky that this lockdown hasn't impacted us as significantly as previous lockdowns with work um, and a lot of it was already booked in prior to lockdown six being extended, um, which is great. So I'm just going to go past the office today to pick up some parcels and um, also mum's made dinner for us, which is great. So I'm going to pick that up as well. And that's it. I'm changed. Um, it's oh, it was sunny outside. It is cold today. I think it's only 14. So my outfit somewhat reflects that. I'll show you. Okay, so I don't know if you see my full outfit, you won't be able to know. But I'm wearing um, my Elias May Adelaide sneakers um, that you guys always ask about on Instagram. These trousers are rough for label. I've just kind of hiked them up because they're a bit bigger on my waist. This beautiful new knit is by Joslyn. I'm wearing a matching crop top. Um, it's a little bralette that actually fits surprisingly and I'm a double D, so that's great. Um, the bag is the Pullen Paris bag I've been wearing the last few weeks. This necklace is by Kitty and this one is by Clue Jewelry. Um, and that's it. This is my outfit for today. Very comfy, very easy, but kind of like wishful for warm weather because it is sunny. So like I'm wearing linen trousers and like a little crop bralette. So yeah, we're hoping for some warmer weather soon. for Marissa's house I know um some of you guys are new to what's happening and this is the renovation at Marissa's house um currently the skylights just went in this morning which is just here and these are the doors so they're gonna go here and then there but this is where they're at so the electricians come in to rough in this is the beautiful new skylight our friend James Christie has installed which looks lovely. That window's gonna get blocked up because cabinetry is gonna go there. This is the kitchen. It's the framing for the door. The bathroom has been, I don't know what this is, waterproofing maybe? Not waterproofing yet, but something has gone down the bathroom. Some of the plaster walls are, they still need to insulate. So they'll do so from the outside, but look at the little shower niche. This is cute. Um, Marissa's door jams and stuff. This is kind of the update, very quick, but I know we haven't really shown much of our faces and talked to camera much this week, or Marissa hasn't, but I obviously have. Um, wanted to jump on and say hello, obviously, and give you kind of a bit of an update. If you guys follow us on Instagram, some of you may have seen my paper towel gate situation with West Elm. Essentially, short story is that I ordered a marble paper towel holder from West Elm a month ago, um, and it got dispatched like two days after I ordered it, which was great. Um, and it's never arrived. 
um, I called their customer service team, which obviously is based in America or wherever it is. And the lady was really dismissive, really rude. She gave me the incorrect tracking number. She was like, oh, well, it's just delayed. Don't know where it is. It'll take me three to five business days to respond back to you with an updated tracking information. La la la. Took to Instagram. Didn't like tag Westdale or anything. Had a bit of a rant. Um, and the Westdale Australian team actually wrote back to me and saying, we'll figure it out. We'll get it sorted. Haven't heard back from them. Um, but an update is that I got an email from, I think, the general manager in Australia. The Australian general manager. And he said that they there was an error and it was lost in transit and they sent a new one so hopefully next week it should be arriving fingers crossed um which is really great um just had a really lazy week really wasn't really much to do this week obviously we're still in lockdown um we've just been kind of shooting some content and getting some stuff sorted i'm wearing a really beautiful new lounge knit and trouser combo from jack and jack it's cashmere it's so stunning um, I've got a pair of Palazzo like track pants on, um, and this jumper, so beautiful, especially for today because it's cold and wet and miserable. So I feel very snuggly. Um, next week is a massive week for Marissa's house, Renault. There's a lot of stuff happening. Um, I'm going to try and film a lot more of that process. If you're interested, so let us know. Um, we can do a separate home update vlog, um, because, the plaster is going up. The plaster is a plaster in the entire house. Um, the cabinet maker is coming to install all the cabinetry for the kitchen, laundry, bathroom, and the wardrobes, which is massive. Um, the tiler will be tiling the bathroom. Um, and Marissa, or not Marissa, obviously, but Niall and a carpenter friend is helping install their laminate floors on Friday, Saturday, fairly sure. So, like, the house will actually look like a house rather than a shell by the end of next week, which is really exciting. So I can definitely keep you up there on that kind of stuff. Um, and that's really it at the moment. Um, but I hope you enjoy this weekly vlog. I know it was a little bit shorter than last week's one, um, but obviously next week's will be much more exciting, much more um, transformational. But yeah.